Hey guys, this is Lavathor and welcome back to Minecraft. Today, on this beautiful, beautiful day, see it's sunny, a few clouds, no. Today on Minecraft we're going to be doing a few different things. We are going to be working on our skeleton farm. There's a hole for it over there. It goes. It's going to be going straight down and we're going to be setting up the initial thing of that. Uh, we're also going to be doing some diamond hunting. We really need diamonds. So we're going to be going to the nether, not the nether, the, the underground place. And we're going to be doing some scaffolding mining, using scaffolding in uh, lava lakes to get some quick and easy diamonds. And then I think lastly we're going to be fixing up a couple of our nether portals. I think someone broke the spawn one and ours needs to be re relocated. So we're going to get that started and hopefully get all that done. We have put off the rabbit hutch for now just because I don't want to work on it. So there's that. But yeah, exciting. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm digging straight down, trying to get to my skelly farm. Um, I have my water bucket ready in case crap hits the fan. Which it... Oh! Which, there's already water, so that's already a disaster. Ah! I don't... I don't like water. Okay, come on. Play some water. I mean, play some... Stones, whatever they're called. I place one above me. Did I go up? Why can't I get out? Did it turn to ice? Oh my gosh, it turned to ice. That was scary. Okay, let's place these down and try not to die. I can't believe it turned it to ice. Oh, man. Okay. Let's eat up, heal up, and let's continue on down. Oh, my gosh. Whew. Come on, heal up. Come on. No, I don't want that. Ooh, more coal. I'll take you, Mr. Coal. Oh, uh, we got more of that crap, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. <gasps> Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, he killed me. Okay, guys. Um, I got the mine down a little bit. I just want to show you, but I have a access point straight down. Notice how the snow is all here? It shows up all the way down there. I, I put water down there, so I should be good to go. Oh my gosh, that scares me so much each time. But look, the snow comes all the way down. Isn't that trippy? Like, it's just a little column of snow just coming straight down. But look, the snow still goes at an angle. That's so weird. Anyways, though, I got a little setup here and I got it mined out where it's <clears throat> 9 by 9 by 9. I don't know about height and bottom. I don't think you need to do it 9, but um, I got four that way, four that way, four that way, four this way. And there's a little bit of lava under here, so I need to mine out. And I was thinking, you know, what if I do a nether portal, like, right out here? Or wherever. And I just go through my portal in there, go to one next to it, and come on down. That would, that would work, right? Like, would that work? How far away do the portals have to be? Okay, we're gonna see if this portal th system works. And let's go in. I wonder where this will take me to. Also, let me turn my lighting mod off. Okay, this connects up with mine. That could work, actually. Because then I can just use the water to go back down, right? Yeah, so when I need to go back down, I just use the water hole. I was hoping to have two portals, but this might be just fine. Okay, let's eat. So then I can just do this. Like, obviously, I'll get some, like, water elevators or whatever set up. Oh, wait, there's no water down there. <laughs> I'm down here. Okay, I need... Well, I got my stuff, at least. <laughs> okay, that was not good. I, I forgot. I, I actually cleared it with a torch. Um, <laughs> Ridiculous. Where's my chest plate? Did it break? Oh, there it is. It glitched in the wall. Um, Interesting. Let me... Okay, let's try this again. Go through the portal. It connects up with mine and the nether. 
just fine. Go out, go back in, and it connects up to my home. And then if I want to go down, let's get some water first. I have a little water hole right over here with my sugar cane. Okay, and then let's see if we can MLG down. Water bucket challenge. I think that torch might get in the way. So let's drop this way then. Oh, I placed it for a second. Did you see that? It's fine. We have water now. I should have a second bucket. Oh, here it is. It pl no, I didn't place it. Okay, well, but I think the torch got in the way. Whatever. Okay, I think I got it set up. I have a little uh, maintenance access point here. And so there'll be so let's say I'm a I'm a skelly that spawn. Let's say up on the top spot. Just uh right here. Not moving, hands off keyboard, just looking around, pushes me down slowly. Am I resisting it? What's going on? I guess it's just really slow right here. Come on, go faster, Skelly. Okay, and it pushes me here, goes here. And then I'll get stuck right here. But other skeletons will come through and push you, and then you'll go in, and I'll go up zoom. And I'll fall down here and go boop. Oh, with half a heart. And we're good. Okay, let's put that stair back. And then all their goodies will drop, like let's say this. And they'll fall in the chest. Let's uh, make a little staircase just to get rid of the lights. And I think we're good. This is going to start shooting at us, so let's get the far one first. Okay. And I think I can get the rest from here. I'd like to replace that with maybe chain. Actually, chains would still spawn them, wouldn't it? Hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Pitch dark. Oh, they're going to murder me. Get out of my way. i got to get through the door. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Okay, and then we can sit here and go, Hi, skellies! Kill. Oh, that is beautiful. Why is it not picking them up? Oh, it's just slow. <laughs> it's picking them up. It's just killed so many. Oh, I can't get the experience. I guess we do that, right? I thought we could kill them together. And that would be super fun. Well, first, let me... Um... Oh, I blocked myself in for AFK. I'm like, where's the door? <laughs> I have a mending, a couple mending items. Ah, uh, here we go. My mending. Let's let's repair that up all the way. I have an axe, but we'll do that a different time. Oh, bats! Get out of here! Oh, I didn't mean to kill so many. <laughs> well, that thing's full. After much head scratching, I've gotten something worked out. Uh, let me go show you guys over here. Well, that one. Let me fix that. It it has a lot of kinks to be worked out, but the, I had an issue. So first off, these hoppers do not go down yet. I will need to get more iron and do that. For now, it's just the top layer for testing purposes. But essentially, what I do is the skeleton dies. So let me drop this off. And torches go, you know, the items go in and they get pushed over. And, oh, well, let me, uh, hold on, hold on. It's, it's not. <laughs> there we go. It gets pushed over. Let me redo those torches. They get pushed over. We go into free camps, you can see. They get pushed over, and then they go into the system. So the problem what I had was the bubble column was having water flow back into the system. And I don't have blue ice yet. Yeah, we're going to unlock those guys a second. I don't have any ice yet because I don't have a silk touch. So I needed a water flow in one direction without the other one flowing back. So what I did was, it's hard to tell, but I have a slab there, and I have a slab right there. So this block is actually two half blocks right here. So what happens, and, and I have uh, the bottom one waterlogged. So this one and this one are kind of like flowing into each other more or less. So what happens is the water goes into this, hits this one, gets pushed forward and goes up. And the bottom bubble column doesn't really have the chance to flow back. 
So technically they can get stuck here a little bit, just the way it works, but I haven't had that happen a bunch. When I had it just an empty block, they just get stuck about half the time. Really I need to replace this with ice and ice will make them skid a little bit and it'll be fine. But until I do that, the staggering system works decently. They pop on up, they flow down. They sometimes get stuck up here, so I might need to pop this up one more and go over. Whatever we need to do. It should be one hit to kill. They all should have a half a heart. Or one heart. I don't know. I, th I think it's half a heart. Oh, they land in water. They don't die. Crap. Hmm. Also, I need this out of the way for the experience. Whoa. Oh, no, that... Here we go. There we go. Phew. Okay. Yeah, they land in water so that doesn't insta-kill them anymore. Hmm. Shoot. I'm gonna have to come up with a different system. That ruins everything. Because I don't want to hit these guys 20 times. I think I found a better fix. We decided to dump the water all together. And let me show you some stuff back here. I got it turned off. But we have a... We just have a little hyper hi, hopper chain. Which is pretty simple. Just hopper, hopper, hopper and a dispenser, and then we have a little clock here. It's just two hoppers with a stick in them that go back and forth. A comparator that checks that if there's a stick in it, it sends a signal when there's not, it doesn't. Uh, there's probably better ways to do a little clock, but that, that's simple for now. I'm gonna look up, this is just my own design. I'm gonna look up better ones that could be a little faster so it really dispenses out pretty quickly. But I mean, it works. Uh, literally the tunnel right there is right there to go up so we got to be careful but then I have a little switch to turn it off because it does get annoying I might even actually I should probably do like want that lock it want that lock it let's check this out yeah that locks it okay let's do that that way it actually turns off the redstone um, but let's go and activate this we need to unlock that spot for the skellies now. Which I want to say is this one. Are they flowing in now? I can't tell. That did not do it. Did it? Oh yeah, that did it. Okay, let's block this back off. Sorry about them being so loud. Okay, and some are going to die because they've been hitting each other. But despite that, it should come in here. Yeah, I got that. Oh, look, we can watch them pop up. That's the cool part. Look at that, flies right up. Sometimes they go back down. Why are they shooting arrows? Oh, wait, that got to me. And that one pushes them down. Okay, let's kill a couple and... Uh, here, I'll turn free cam on. Let me get into a spot that I can hit. Yeah, right there. I'll turn free cam on so we can watch. Because I can still, I'm still controlling my guy, but I'm swinging at them, hopefully killing them. And I want to see some of this stuff pop up. Okay, I think... That should give me... Oh yeah, there goes the bones. They fly up! Holy crap, I'm gonna have to block that off. But I think it works decently. It needs some improvement, some tweaking. But I think that's pretty good. Okay guys, I want to show a neat trick. I decided... I wasn't gonna record this, so I did. So if I use free cam, we can see that there's some diamonds in the lava. But even if not, if you see large lava pools and you think there might be diamonds, you can use scaffolding to clear it out. Like if we just... Oh, don't. Okay, first off, don't stand in the lava. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, but you can just scaffold across like this and clear it out, and you can kind of see through it. Okay, I'm about to die here. I didn't bring any water. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you can clear out lava pretty easy this way if you need to clear out, like, surface level lava. And, like, you can actually get it down further, so, kind of a neat thing. So, and it's just bamboo and strings, so it's pretty easy. See if we can find those diamonds. You guys yell if you see them. Okay, that that's a little bit deeper. We might have to clear out a little bit more. Come on, where are you diamonds? I saw you. I saw like three stacks of you. 
three veins, I mean. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's clear. Okay. All around this. Break this one. Oops. Okay. Um. Now be careful because there's probably lava underneath this. So what you're going to do, build a little barrier, dig around the diamonds. That way it'll, there we go. Only one? Oh, there was another one. Okay. Okay, two. Don't be, like, what I'm doing is not a smart move. <laughs> like, dig all the way around the diamonds first. Otherwise you can kill yourself with lava. But you guys get the point. Okay. Oh, see, there's right there. Okay, we got it. Okay, but yeah, we got five diamonds because I have fortune two on this guy. So, But we got three from that. That's pretty good. Okay, I've been at this for a while and I kind of got a system down because I'm low on scaffolding. We need to collect some more here. Because you don't want your scaffolding to fall into the lava. So what I do is I've been coming along here. Let's, and this is this is the lava is now like two or three deep. So let's do another layer here. You just click on it and it sends it off. See, it just extends it out. We'll do three. And then this bottom layer, we do the same thing. So it's already extended a bit, but we can do a little bit further just to make sure it gets out there. Oh, that's all good. And then we can just pick this scaffolding back up. And since it's still there's still some connected, we don't really lose any. And connect this layer up. I think we might be able to do this layer too. Sometimes if you break stuff that's not connected, they all fall into the lava and you lose them all a lot. <laughs> so be careful about that. Ooh, some more there. So now we'll come back again and do boop, 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 and just extend it all out. Clear out the lava. Oh, found more diamonds. I was going along and I see these guys here. Let's make sure they're nice and covered. Okay. Oh man, diamonds. See, I got none on me. Two. Is it just two? Well, two turned into four with efficiency too, so I'll take it, I guess. And there's a couple more. Let's dig down under them this time. Just one. Hey guys, I, uh, yeah, a creeper blew me up and knocked all my stuff into the water and it flew all down into the water, except for, uh, my one sword. Uh, so I lost my mending axe, but that's okay. And I picked out a second sword. But, so, I wanted to finish this, but I've died like 17 times down here, and it's just, oh, yeah. If What I wanted to do was, I wanted to keep this not lit up so I could guys show you the, so where I started was this ring of lights, is where the lava started. And that's all I've cleared out with scaffolding, but I lost all my scaffolding that fell in the lava when I died. Um, I also died way earlier over here. A skelly shot me into this lava, and I died. Like, I just... But when I died, I must have, like... Th like, when you die, your stuff throws out. Like, you explode. And all my stuff exploded out here, except for, like, a couple, like, potatoes or scaffolding. But, like, all my diamond gear survived in the diamonds I had. Um... But it's been kind of fun clearing most of this out, especially the deeper layers get a little bit rough, like down here where it goes almost to bed. It does go to bedrock. But let's get back, and I want to show you guys how many diamonds I have collected. There's also a couple in the ceiling I missed, so I lost I lost a few diamond things. So I remade some tools, which is you know it is what it is. I probably needed them anyways. But I got 37, 16. Uh, I think I already had 18. So I gained 35 plus sword, axe, pick, 9. So 44 diamonds I gained out of that lava mining. Now a couple were in the ceiling, so I don't know if you want to count that or not. Okay, I went ahead and got my portal reconnected up so it's on the same level, which is 94. Uh, however, <laughs> oh man, I've been dying so much. I uh, As I was trying to mine this out, lava spilt and killed me and I lost all my diamond gear. So that's why I'm wearing all gold. Hey. And that's why I have some
crappy items. But I'm going to go buy some iron, so I can get some iron gear for now. And I think I'm going to get some diamond stuff set up a different day with, with some... I'm just going to do some AFK at the skeleton farm, get levels and enchant everything, get silk touch, fortune 3, and all that jazz. But yeah, see, here's my new spot. I'm getting to mine it out, set it up. Old one there. Spawn. And then the mushroom island one is down here. Let me go there. And we'll, go, we'll go do some shopping. There's two iron shops. Uh, trains and Milo's. I think I'll just do like a stack from each to try and be fair. And then I'm going to check my wood and see if anyone's bought any wood. Hey, a rogue! Hey, rogue, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> okay, let's go. Because I brought six diamonds with me. I'll probably just buy one or two, but just in case other shops. Milo's is a little small, but I did like he put an iron golem here and put some leafage, so it looks a little bit nice. Yeah, so we'll buy a stack from you. And if Dyson's is still open, we'll go buy a stack from him too. Both are a little bit small, but, you know, they just want to get something started to get some diamonds. I get it. Oh, he might be expanding it here. He, yeah, okay, he's expanding it. Cool. Okay, this looks promising. Okay. Train Dyson. This looks pretty cool. I'm excited to see what he's got. Sorry if this spoils anything. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and buy one from him too. Hi Twitch! What's going on? <laughs> oh, I guess they can't hear me. Hi Twitch! <laughs> okay, let's go check my shop sales and see what we have done there. Here's my beautiful shop. I love this shop. I really like the rift design, especially I added in a little bit of um, uh, oxidized copper. Looks very nice. I like that. I, have a, I really like this little gazebo and it goes up. So I just, I don't know. I like it. Let me close that. Let's check any wood sales at all. I don't have anything in the bottom ones. Come on, someone buy, someone please buy some wood. Okay, no wood sales. It's fine. I do have this. I can stick. No, I don't want to lose those. Okay, well, hopefully we'll buy some. We'll buy some. I did have someone buy a couple mangrove when I first opened it, but since then, it's all good. But I think we're going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let me know what you think.